this some master race alien sir please um now there are going to be some people who fight you on this planet you can evaporate them okay go ahead do your thing they didn't listen to us <laughs> but please leave me a, that's exactly what i'm saying over traces of type 2 civilization now i don't know if that means like these people took the blue pill and we the red pill and i'm not talking about the Andrew Tate red pill. I'm talking about the Matrix red pill, okay? Like, are these the uh, the 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 future robot us Terminator doohickeys? Are we about to discover the avatar? I don't know. <laughs> Researchers have detected strange radio signals coming from deep space. These mysterious radio waves might just be bursts of cosmic energy from a distant new. What's my favorite struggle meal? Uh, beanie weenies, the, be the the hot dogs, baked beans and rice. Best best struggle meal ever to touch this planet. Tron Star, or it could be that scientists have discovered a highly advanced civilization 90 light years away from Earth. So. What kind of civilization would have the ability to send strong signals like this? Mm. Well, scientists classify civilizations on something called... On oh God, if I see something like the Predator... Okay, chat, question to y'all, all right? And this is... The fate of humanity hinges on your answer to this question. You see an alien that looks like this, mad weapons. Do you attack it? Do you run from it? Or do you just freeze and see what happens? Which one are you doing? The Kardashev scale. It's a scale that measures a civilization's technological ability to harness energy. Mm. While it's a hypothetical scale that could eventually have five or more levels, most scientists only refer to the first few. But don't be underwhelmed. We're the only civilization we know of. And technically, we're still type stuck zero. on type zero. <laughs> At this stage, we've managed to harness some, but not all of our planet's potential energy. We consume about 18 trillion watts of power. I think the only safe answers if we see aliens is to run and to freeze. You fight back with the, with the organism that traveled through the galaxy to us, the technology they got is superior. They're gonna crush us, okay? So that's what I'm going with. Power every year. And if we wanted to bump ourselves up to a type one civilization, we'd need to consume over 500 times that every second. To do this, we'd need to harness, store, and utilize all of the energy available to us. That includes all raw materials oh, and every bit of sunlight that reaches Earth. We'd also have to tame volcanoes, earthquakes, and other natural forces. At the rate at which we're developing now, That'll it's possible that we could be a type one civilization within the next 200, 200. years. But what- Hold up, hold up, hold up, no, 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 no. Civilization. You see these things that's popping up? Now Las Vegas, they just put a, a freaking dome in there with all types of LED lights and we might not be 200 years away. We might be about 15 minutes away from this, okay? Nation ...within the next 200 years. But whatever civilization scientists may have discovered in the far reaches of space could already be a type 2 civilization or higher. Okay, before we can even think about pushing our civilization to type one, we've got to take care of the planet we already have. Facts. For instance, the Colorado River is seriously running low. Yep. It's drying up because we've been using too much water and because climate change has brought on a major drought. In 1999, two lakes along the river were nearly full, but today, yeah. well, today they're barely a quarter full. I think you, like, when you go to Las Vegas, I think you, like, fly over... The Colorado River, I'm pretty sure. I think, maybe, am I right? No? The Biden administration has been working hard to reduce water usage and most states involved have supported the plan, but California, which uses the most water, hasn't jumped on board and it's concerning. Listen. Thank you, thank you. Listen, balance it. What would I be without you? What would I be without my baby? Uh, no, okay, okay. 
grasping water needs isn't easy, especially in fast-growing cities and in farming regions. But climate change affects us all, and it's time to step up our water-saving game and support leaders who are ready to tackle this crisis. Only then can we start planning how to harvest all the energy our planet has to offer. Once our civilization has all of the energy available on our home planet under control and we graduate to a type one on the Kardashev scale. But see, the reason why this is never gonna happen in this world we're currently in right now is to harness all the energy, people have to agree what is done with that energy. And that question will never be answered with these, uh, these, these, um, petty humans, okay? So. Then we need to take the next step. Time to crank up our energy consumption to 10 billion times what it was before. To do this, we'd need to harness not just all the solar energy that reaches Earth, we'd need all of the energy our star generates, period. If wow, there crazy. is a Type 2 civilization out there, they're probably using an incredible system to do this, a Dyson Sphere. They'd build this megastructure around their star to collect all the energy it radiates out in every direction. They could even assemble other Dyson Spheres around the first Dyson Sphere to guarantee that little to no energy escapes. That's crazy. But there's nothing simple about this technology, and that's why only advanced civilizations could construct something like it. For one, a Dyson Sphere must be larger than the star itself. And if these megastructures are bigger than stars, well, they should be easy to spot, right? Nice. Well, this could be tricky. Once a civilization is finished building the Dyson Sphere, the megastructure blocks nearly all of the visible light from its star. A civilization this advanced could make its own solar system invisible. That's crazy. That's insane. Lucky for us, visible light isn't the only way to detect a star. Even with a Dyson Sphere blocking its light, a star would still radiate heat, and we could detect the star by the infrared light it gives off. Nope. But that wouldn't be the only way we might discover a civilization this advanced. Remember that strange radio signal? It originated about 90 light years away from Earth coming from the star HD 164595. Was this powerful radio signal created by an alien race and intentionally pointed toward Earth? A civilization able to pull this off would need to be far more advanced than our own. This Type II civilization would be able to utilize the raw materials on every planet in its star system, and maybe even beyond. They may have built fusion reactors that orbit their planet, fueled with gas from other worlds with hydrogen-rich atmospheres. And they might be mining precious metals from rocky planets, just like Earth. They could terraform other planets into livable worlds for their populations, and they wouldn't live in fear Hallelujah. of civilization-ending natural disasters like asteroid impacts, ice ages, or global warming because they'd have technical solutions for these, too. This alien civilization would be at the stage on the Kardashev scale where they'd be able to master interstellar travel. You said we all gotta, all we gotta do is build a Dyson Sphere. Pretty simple, let's do it. Yeah, not in my lifetime, man. I don't even want to become a type two civilization. Like, we don't even know what that comes with, you know? But if I've just figured out tier one struggles okay i don't need tier i mean tier zero struggles i'm sorry i don't even want to know what tier one tier two would they say go up to tier 10 i don't i'm good bro i just figured this game out that's true well, there should be no reason for them not to this? pop by for a visit <laughs> right well not so fast with all the advanced technology they might have at their disposal these aliens could be waiting for us to catch up that way, when our civilizations meet, we would do so as equal partners. Who knows? They could be so advanced that they're no longer a fully biological race. They could be more like cyborgs with a mix of robotic and organic material. 
This would make them capable of incredible things. Hey, you don't want to fight those. Oh, listen, listen, master race, alien, sir, please. Um, now, there are going to be some people who fight you on this planet. You can evaporate them, okay? Go ahead, do your thing. They didn't listen to us. <laughs> But please leave me. That's exactly what I'm saying. Things that humans could only dream of, but they wouldn't stop there. An advanced world like this would want to go farther up the Kardashev scale. And as they became a type three civilization, they'd rely on something other than the power of their own star system. Yo, star. They would harness the power of several stars in their galaxy. That's crazy. With this much power, a civilization would have no problem meeting its ever-growing energy needs. They'd just hook up another star when they needed more power. If we ever advanced to this level, we'd have 100 billion stars available to harness in the Milky Way galaxy alone. A civilization like this would no doubt be the rulers of their galaxy, and they'd have the power... You hear that, chat? The rulers, and therein lies why humans <laughs> we never get in there power to move entire star systems if there is one species of thing on this planet prepared for this it's ants and bees shout out to tears man systems merging them to harvest the energy they need more efficiently so if one of these civilizations existed well you could detect them by observing the sudden disappearance of many stars in a faraway galaxy this could be a sign that Dyson spheres have been constructed around not just one, but several stars. A Type Three civilization could already be out there. After all, scientists have announced that they've found two galaxies with a highly unusual amount of infrared light. This is something we usually observe in galaxies where new stars are being born, but some unusual <laughs> and sudden crazy. spikes in infrared light could mean that we found the first signs that good. civilizations many times more advanced than us exist. Maybe they're about to make contact. Or maybe they, they already, already have. have. But that's a story for what another what if. what if. Bro, that's crazy. I think there's aliens on this planet already. I believe it. Um... I believe the biggest, um, I feel like the biggest, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Trickster of our species is our eyes. Because they say seeing is believing. But what you're believing is it actually true. You know what I'm saying? Tim Foyle Hat Holla has entered the building, okay? I don't know. I just don't, like... I think to get to the point where you're a tier two, tier three civilization, you have to know what else is out there. Sometimes what's out there may be less advanced species that uh, you don't want them to get to you and you understand the only way of like a good civilization is to have not apex predators in it, you know, or something. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This was a crazy... We're going to watch another one of these. If there's another fire what if that y'all have watched before, let me know.